Yeah. Well, we made it into Buenos Aires. Smooth flight overnight from US. Now we just moved from the international terminal over to a domestic terminal. We've got a charter that's gonna take us to our first hunting location for the slam. That's gonna be Patagonia. Now it's complete opposite season here. So it's winter right now, summer at home. Where we're going in Patagonia, it's gonna be super cold. May actually get in some snow. Gonna be hunting for the elegant tinamou and also quail. Gonna be an awesome first stop to start off the South American Upland Slam. landed in Patagonia and I think we got in early enough this afternoon we're gonna head to the hotel get changed actually try to get out this afternoon and go after some quail pretty exciting the weather's way colder here than it was when we left Michigan it's about 90 when we left Michigan it's low 30s here opposite season so it's winter time here it's gonna be shorter days so we're gonna hurry try to get changed get out this afternoon And now I realize that the one who actually brought them to this precise area, because there were more uh, near the, uh, the place that you shot the, the Pierre de Vidir in San Martin de los Andes and Junín de los Andes, was his father. His father was the one who, oh, really? who, yeah, oh. the one who introduced the, the quail here in this area. And now you are going to see, it looks like they found the perfect habitat here and they thrive big time. So uh, it's a funny, funny thing that uh, you're going to hand with the son of the guy, uh, the, the son of the guy who actually introduced them. Yeah. And the, the quail are just in this Patagonia area in Argentina, right? Uh, yes, yeah. yes. But uh, I would say that the area of influence of them now is fairly big. Okay. Because uh, I've seen them from aluminium area. Uh, at the north of uh, San Martin de los Andes, uh, in the whole Junín de los Andes, Bariloche area, and all the way over here. Guys, do you see those mountains that we have on our right? Yep. They belong to uh, National Park Los Alerces, and they they are uh, over the border with Chile. We are very close to that border. First spot we're gonna hunt quail. I actually saw a covey running off over there um, in the foothills of the Andes here. You can see them in the distance. There's all this scrub brush right here and we're smack dab in the middle of what the quail range is here in Argentina. It's all in Patagonia. Stretches about 500 miles north to south and it sounds like about 100 miles east to west and we're smack dab in the middle, middle of it right here. Um, anyway, we're gonna get the dogs out and kind of we're down here. We've got a couple hours left this afternoon. It's kind of cool. We got out on the first day we arrived here. Ah, 
hacer el largo? No. Ahora que vamos a hacer la escena de la larga. Well, we're just hitting our first field here in Argentina, going after California quail. Holy smokes. It's the largest covey of quail I've ever seen. just hit the field and saw a giant covey of quail. Uh, finally got one separated out, gorgeous male. California quail, Patagonia, Argentina. Great way to start out the South American Upland Slam. Just a gorgeous bird. This is the uh, third country that I've hunted them in now. US, New Zealand, and now Argentina. We're gonna get this one loaded up, continue on. There is a giant pile of birds in this field. giant covey of quail and we're just utilizing everything we can on this first afternoon and kind of going after them. Once we break them up then it's a lot easier to get the ones and twos with the dog. That big group's tough to get on. Wrapping up, first day here. Arrived in Argentina this morning, took a charter flight over to Patagonia, had enough time to get out this afternoon, and let's just say it was worth it. A California quail, got into a bunch of them. We jumped four different coveys, all with over 50 birds. The first one, I'm gonna have to go back and look, it looked like it had over 100, somewhere like 150 birds. By far, the largest covey I've ever seen a wild quail. Everything we're hunting right here is free range. They run along Patagonia here where we're hunting about 500 miles north and south, 100 miles east and west, and we're right in the heart of them, and you can tell. Everything loaded up this morning. We're going to start today by going a little bit farther than where we hunted yesterday. Go after California quail first thing. Then we're going to switch and go after elegant tinamou this afternoon. Looking forward to that one. Elegant tinamou are found in Argentina and then a small part of Chile. I haven't hunted them before, so looking forward to that. We 
we have to drive carefully because uh, Adrian explained to us that there is uh, ice on the road, but it's particularly dangerous because it was uh, ice, then uh, snowed on top of it, and then iced again. Good. We just got the dogs down, excited to get going on day two of the South American Upland Slam. We're gonna start the day by going after California quail again. We pulled into a completely different area than where we hunted yesterday. We're about an hour away. This actually reminds me a ton of when I did the Upland Slam in North America hunting in Wyoming. There is a skiff of snow this morning. It's down about mid twenties. We've seen a couple coveys of quail just working along the road here. We're gonna hunt into the wind behind us for a couple miles. The guy said this is probably the, the premium spot for California quail, so I'm excited to get going this morning. This afternoon, we're gonna bounce to a different area, actually go after Elegant Crested Tinamu. They're spread all throughout Argentina, a little bit of chili, but this is a great spot to hunt them. It's gonna be an exciting day. Temps are crazy low because it's winter here, unlike summer back at home, I'm excited to get going. We've been hunting along this bottom here. Just got into the first covey of the day. The main group busted ahead of us, but picked up a single at the end. We saw where they went. They're just kind of scattered out now. So we're gonna continue on here. Hopefully get into them again. Mark. Yeah. Adrian. Adrian. Uh huh. Move. The cubby. You and me, uh, please. Yep. For here. And pay attention, to Adrian. Uh huh. And the when flight. they come down. Yes. Okay. definitely found them. We got into a giant covey and now we're just kind of got singles and doubles all over that we're going to pick up. They are not wanting to fly and running like crazy this morning. Uh, the fence, cross and move for uh, parallel. Uh, <laughs> oh, the fence? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Come,
this way? Direction? Yes. Yep. And move. Okay. Once we get up at the hill base. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Well, we've been chasing singles up on the hillside here, ran into a giant covey of quails. What we're going to do is we're going to try to circle up on top of them, get the wind in our face and push them back down. Amazing morning in the field. Got a limit of 20 California quail. That's right, 20 California quail. We bumped into, I don't know, seven or eight coveys, and some of these coveys have over 60 to 70 birds in it. Saw one yesterday that had over 150. Hands down, some of the best wild quail hunting that I've ever had anywhere in the world. This compares to Sonora, top two places I've ever quail hunted here, Patagonia, Argentina, and Sonora. This place is crazy. We're gonna grab lunch, then we're gonna move a little bit farther away. Look for a elegant crested tinamou this afternoon. And they're kind of spread throughout Argentina. This is kind of a hotbed for them here and then parts of Chile, but man, I can't express how awesome this morning was. Just moved to a different area we're going to hunt for elegant tinamou completely different terrain than where we hunted for quail at this morning this is more scrub brush um, apparently they're runners so once we get a point we're going to get on them pretty quick and try to get them up in the air Elegant tenemu. 
There it is. That is awesome. Elegant Tinamou, and they're found all over Argentina, but this year they just opened up hunting for them in the Patagonia province. So along with the quail that are here, this was the other species that we were hunting hard. So much bigger than the quail. We actually just put up a couple quail right before we got to this guy. Yeah, it's so unique. Look at that. The head feathers he's got on it. The coloring, that's awesome. Well, this was going to be the tricky one of the slam here in South America for the upland. More so just by where it was open for seasons this year and hunting the numbers where we're going to hunt next in La Pampa. There's actually quite a few of these, but the hunting season wasn't open there. And a lot of what went into this upland slam here in South America, it's not of traditional birds that have been able to be hunted. It's what actually is open for hunting seasons now. So we had to wait till the hunting regs came out and then made our plan of attack on what species to go after. Um, eight total species here in Argentina, and this is number two. This was gonna be the tricky one just based on which province opened up and which area was open to hunt. But the guys had them scouted out and we got on them today and made it all work. This is such a cool bird. Oh, he's back. Once we get a point, we're gonna get on it pretty quick, so it seems like they're gonna be running kind of like a pheasant. Yeah, so let's do it again. Slam this door, 30. You got the door? <laughs> That's an awesome day here. Limited quail this morning. Elegant Timonu. Elegant Timonu. Oh my god. Timonu. Limited quail this morning and an elegant Timonu. Oh my god. It's so, it's so tricky.